हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू अफेयर्स क्लाउड माय नेम इज विकास सो फ्रेंड्स वी हैव एन एप्लीकेशन बाय द नेम कैरियर्स क्लाउड विच यू कैन गो एंड डाउनलोड थ्रू द प्ले स्टोर एंड वंस यू हैव डाउनलोडेड यू कैन लॉग इन विद योर जीमेल आईडी एंड व्हाई आई एम सजेस्टिंग यू दिस एप्लीकेशन बिकॉज दिस इज द वन स्टॉप सोल्यूशन फॉर ऑल द करंट अफेयर दिस इज द बेस्ट ऑफ द बेस्ट एप्लीकेशन एंड द प्लेटफॉर्म वेर यू कैन एनहेंस योर लर्निंग थ्रू हेल्प here you will be provided with multiple courses here you will be provided with multiple options of quizzes and even you here you will be provided current affairs on daily basis pdfs and quizzes will be provided to you on daily basis both in hindi as well as english here you will be provided current affairs with weekly basis and monthly basis also here remember once you have done watching our video then you can log in through this application take out the pdf read that pdf and go through the quizzes that will enhance your preparation same you have to do for weekly and same you have to do for the monthly also in monthly you will be provided with the top 100 important questions pdf and video also that will enhance your learning and it will be a very benefit and beneficial and important video for the revision perspective and not just this friends apart from this we also provide you banking and economic questions we provide you state current affairs such as of uttarakhand up tripura telangana and many more not just this apart from this we also provide you topic wise current affairs and the topics that we are providing you are really important these topics are such as national affairs international affairs important days sports defense science and technology apps and web portals obviously these are the important topics that are being asked in various exams across india so these are the topics that are must and should be covered and will be beneficial for the preparation of the students hello everyone so in this video we will be discussing important current affairs of 19th of july this session will be very important so do pay attention till the end before moving on friends i like to point out that we daily upload topic wise videos also those videos are really important and i want all the students who are watching our daily current affairs to watch those topic wise videos also right because they will be quite helpful for your revision purpose and they will give you some more insight about the or we can say detailed information about various topics right so let's start the first question is national multi dimensional poverty index was released recently name the organization that launched it so remember it is your niti aayog right and niti aayog recently released the second edition of this niti aayog's report that is national multi dimensional poverty index and it is for the year 2020 three so remember it is the second edition if the name of the person because here the organization is asked right so niti aayog but if the name of the person was asked so it was released by the vice chairman of niti aayog suman k berry correct and this is the second edition of this national multi dimensional poverty index this particular report is for representing or it suggested that the poverty in india has been reduced significantly in the last 15 years and also apart from this this data or this report states that almost 10% of reduction was seen from bihar and up alone right and that is a huge number to see a reduction of 10% in poverty right india has registered a significant decline of almost 9.89% points in number of india's multi dimensional poor from 25% in 2015-16 to 14 per 15 per cent almost in 2019 to 21 then in up registered the largest decline in the number of people that is 3.43 crore right these many people from uttar pradesh alone has been came out of poverty correct so coming back this national multi dimensional poverty index this was the second edition and this was released by the vice chairman of niti aayog s suman k berry and if the name of organization it was released by niti aayog right who is the chief executive officer of niti aayog b v r subramanyam and where is the headquarter it is in new delhi Next thing remember Chandrayaan 3 was launched recently and it was a successful mission it was launched from Satish Dhawan Space Center that is in Sri Harikota Andhra Pradesh and it was launched using L 
VM3. This is the name of the rocket that was used to launch it. Moving on. Next is IEA, that is International Energy Agency. They have recently in collab or they have collaborated with Petroleum Planning and Analysis Cell under the administration of Ministry of Petroleum and Natural Gas. And they have launched Oil 2023 Medium Term Market Report that was titled IEA Oil 2023 Supply and Demand Dynamics to 2028 in Delhi for Oil Supply and Demand. This report is basically telling about the oil demand for 20 till 2028 in Delhi region, right? And that states that how much oil will be required to meet the daily demand of electricity or say, for example, if we are talking about petrol and diesel, right? So how much amount of oil will be required? What is the supply and what is the demand? India's demand for energy is growing faster than any other major economy because we are seeing that where, where all the economies in the world, they are facing recession or negative growth. There, India is clocking a GDP between 6 to 7 percent and that is very appreciable, right? We are seeing that industrialization is happening. We are seeing that manufacturing is taking place in every part of India, right? And the oil medium term market report, it forecasted that the current government policies and market trends, their global oil demand will rise by 6 percent between 2022 till 2028 and it will reach around 105.7 million barrels per day and this data was released by which organization it was released by international energy agency in collaboration with ppac that is your petroleum planning and analysis cell correct if we talk about iea where is the headquarter it is in paris france and if you remember recently in Paris, France, only Prime Minister Narendra Modi visited and there he took two important decisions. One was to extend the work visa for the students, Indian students working there from two years to five years and as well as to increase the use of UPI or to allow the Indians to use UPI there and pay in terms of rupees even at the Eiffel Tower. Correct. So these are some of the things that you need to remember here. And we can see that there will be an increase in the uh, oil demand by 6% between 2022 to 2028. Correct. And the reason for this is that India is growing. India's industrialized sector is growing and we are seeing more and more manufacturing that is happening in India. So that for the production, we required more energy and the best way and the fast not the best way the fastest way to get the energy is oil correct to cater that demand it is oil then which country will settle trade transactions in indian rupees now remember recently prime minister narendra modi visited uae right and this marks his fifth visit to uae since 2015 he was welcomed by crown prince of abu dhabi H.H. Sheikh Khalid bin Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nayan at the airport and a ceremonial welcome and a guard of honor were accorded to Prime Minister Narendra Modi. During their visit, RBI, Reserve Bank of India and Central Bank of UAE, they have done uh, various agreements to settle or to increase the trade between these two countries as well as to settle the transaction in their own currencies. It will be rupee right so we can say it is uae and india right and we have seen that now indians will be able to pay easily even at the airport of uae and even uh, the trade transactions between these two countries will be settled in rupee right and it is a very big step for india and as well as world because here we are seeing that de-dollarization is happening and now we will be seeing that Earlier we saw it was Bangladesh with which India will be settling transaction in rupees instead of dollar and now it is UAE with which India will be settling trade in rupees instead of dollars. Correct. What is the capital of uh, what is the currency of UAE there with they, that they use that is dirham. That is dirham. Right. 
सो वे आंसर हेयर विल बी बांग्लादेश अकॉर्डिंग टू क्वेश्चन एंड यू ए बट वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट प्राइम मिनिस्टर नरेंद्र मोदी विजिट टू यू ए सो द राइट आंसर हेयर इज यू ए करेक्ट इंपॉर्टेंट डिसीजन यू शुड नो ऑल्सो हेयर ओनली आई लाइक टू गिव यू अ क्वेश्चन दैट नेम द आई आई टी और द वी कैन से द फर्स्ट फॉरन कैंपस ऑफ आई आई टी और द फर्स्ट कैंपस ऑफ आई आई टी दैट विल बी इस्टेब्लिश इन अ डिफरेंट कंट्री देन इंडिया इट विल बी इन यू ए राइट एंड इट विल बी इन दुबई करेक्ट मार्क दिस इट इज इंपॉर्टेंट Moving on, here you can see Prime Minister Narendra Modi. He visited Abu Dhabi, UAE, and this will be his fifth visit to UAE since 2015. He was welcomed by Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi, H. H. Sheikh Khalid bin Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, and it was a grand honor for him, and it was welcomed by them. Correct. Next. Next is which organization recently got the special status from UN for global education right it is your world it is your world humanitarian drive whd that is world humanitarian drive whd this is an international ngo that promotes international education and trade so this is an ngo or we can say international ngo that promotes international education and trade correct it has been granted special cons consultative status by united nation ecosoc that is your economic and social council with this status world humanitarian drive will be authorized to interact actively with their subsidiary bodies the human right council the certain united nation general assembly sessions as well as some other internet intergovernmental bodies correct now with the help of this as the name says the question suggests that they will be working towards global education right that means here various initiatives will be starting here various skill sets will be provided to individuals right they will be trained with upcoming technologies and they want that people should be educated if the people are educated they will be getting their job right they won't be unemployed they will be getting employment and they will be contributing towards the society right so it is your world humanitarian drive that got the recognition from the united nation for promoting global education right for promoting international education and trade and it was this status of this uh to all uh, this status to this human world humanitarian drive was granted to them by un ecosoc correct then next thing remember here ecosoc it is the highest status granted to an ngo and that will allow them to facilitate with various united nation events members international governments etc here ecosoc has 54 members states and which are elected by united nation general assembly and it has been extended over 3 years term if we talk about whd only here this is an international ngo which is happening uh, with 12 operation in countries right then where is the headquarter of this whd the headquarter for this it is located in london uk right so in order to promote international education and trade in order to provide various information to different people organization countries for the same this international ngo that is world humanitarian drive they got special status from united nations for global education or international education and trade and which is this organization it is ecosoc right moving on here you can see world humanitarian drive got special status from un for global education that is international education and trade next which country became the first european nation to join trans pacific trading block it is united kingdom right they recently signed a deal to join the comprehensive and progressive agreement for trans pacific partnership that is cp t t uh, cptpp 
दैट इज योर कॉम्प्रीहेंसिव एंड प्रोग्रेसिव एग्रीमेंट फॉर ट्रांस पैसेफिक पार्टनरशिप दिस इज अ मेजर ट्रेडिंग ब्लॉक इन द एशिया पैसेफिक रीजन इन न्यूजीलैंड एंड बिकेम द फर्स्ट मेंबर एंड द फर्स्ट यूरोपियन नेशन टू ज्वाइन दिस सिंस देयर फॉर्मेशन इन टू थाउजेंड एटीन करेक्ट ऑल्सो रिमेंबर विद द इंक्लूजन ऑफ यूनाइटेड किंगडम द कोलेबरेटिव जी डी पी ऑफ द ब्लॉक दैट कंप्राइज ऑस्ट्रेलिया बुरनई कैनेडा चिली जापान मैक्सिको मलेशिया न्यूजीलैंड पेरू सिंगापुर वियतनाम विल अमाउंट टू ऑलमोस्ट फिफ्टीन पॉइंट सेवन ट्रिलियन डॉलर और राइट दैट इज इक्वल टू द फिफ्टीन परसेंट ऑफ द ग्लोबल जी डी पी दिस डील वुड मार्क द सिग्निफिकेंट ट्रेड एग्रीमेंट फॉर ब्रिटेन सिंस इट्स डिपार्चर फ्रॉम द यूरोपियन यूनियन इन टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी दिस विल ब्रिंग अ फ्री दिस विल ब्रिंग अ बैरियर फ्री ट्रेड एक्सेस फॉर ब्रिटिश बिजनेसिस टू अ मार्केट ऑफ ओवर फिफ्टी फाइव हंड्रेड मिलियन पीपल एंड एक्सेस टू द वाइडर रीजन एंड द पैक्ट इज एक्सपेक्टेड टू कम इन टू फोर्स इन द सेकेंड हाफ ऑफ ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर सो कमिंग बैक द कंट्री दैट बिकेम द फर्स्ट यूरोपियन नेशन टू ज्वाइन द ट्रांस पैसेफिक ट्रेडिंग ब्लॉक दैट इज योर यूनाइटेड किंगडम और वी कैन से दे हैव ज्वाइंट द कॉम्प्रीहेंसिव एंड प्रोग्रेसिव एग्रीमेंट फॉर ट्रांस पैसेफिक पार्टनरशिप दैट इज अ मेजर ट्रेडिंग और दैट इज अ मेजर एशिया पैसेफिक ट्रेडिंग ब्लॉक इन न्यूजीलैंड एंड दीज आर द कंट्रीज ऑफ इट एंड टूगेदर दे हैव अ नेट जी डी पी ऑफ अराउंड फिफ्टीन परसेंट ऑफ द ग्लोबल जी डी पी दैट इज फिफ्टीन पॉइंट सेवन ट्रिलियन डॉलर्स करेक्ट नेक्स्ट लाइन नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज विच ऑर्गेनाइजेशन हैज वन द ऑर्डर्स वर्थ एट हंड्रेड करोड़ रुपीज फ्रॉम इंडियन आर्मी टू डिलीवर डिफेंस व्हीकल्स आई रिपीट नेम द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन फर्स्ट इट इज अशोक लीलैंड राइट दे हैव वन द कॉन्ट्रैक्ट वर्थ एट हंड्रेड करोड़ रुपीज एंड दिस कॉन्ट्रैक्ट इज फॉर डिलीवरिंग डिफेंस व्हीकल राइट एंड दीज डिफेंस व्हीकल्स विल बी डिलीवर्ड टू Indian Army. Correct. The contract includes the procurement of the field artillery tractor that is FAT four by four, and the gun towing vehicle that is GTV six by six. Correct. These are the two defence vehicles that will be procured or that will be delivered to Indian Army by. and who will be manufacturing them ashok leland and what is the contract worth here it is 800 crore rupees these vehicles will be delivered over the next 12 months to meet the requirement of indian army correct and remember these vehicles will be indigenously developed also the contract also established the leadership of the ashok leland in the defense mobility vehicle business right next and remember ashok leland limited it is a part of the hinduja group only moving on which indian minister has been conferred with the global incredible inc leadership award who he will be our union minister our union minister g kishan reddy he has been conferred with the global incredible INC leadership award right and he is our union minister of tourism culture and development of north eastern region right and he was awarded with this award from the us india sme council right this us india sme council bestowed this award to him for his efforts to promote tourism and india's rich culture so basically to promote tourism and promote india's rich culture right for this he was awarded with this global incredible inc leadership award if we talk about this organization us india smc council this is a non profit membership and premier business advocacy organization this is based in washington dc that is in usa right and it is an organization that serve to the small medium business enterprises in both usa and india correct then next thing remember 
जी किशन रेड्डी ही अटेंडेड आई यूनाइटेड नेशंस वर्ल्ड टूरिज्म ऑर्गेनाइजेशन हाई लेवल पॉलिटिकल फोरम दैट वाज ऑन इकोनॉमिक सोशल एंड एनवायरमेंटल सस्टेनेबिलिटी ऑफ टूरिज्म दैट वाज इन कैपेसिटी ऑफ जी ट्वेंटी टूरिज्म चेयर एट द यू एन हेडक्वार्टर इन न्यूयॉर्क यू एस ए ड्यूरिंग दिस मीटिंग जी किशन रेड्डी हैज डिलीवर्ड अ की नोट एड्रेस दैट डिस्कस द इंडियाज प्रोग्रेस फॉर ट्वेंटी थर्टी एजेंडा ऑन द सस्टेनेबल डेवलपमेंट गोल्स राइट इंपॉर्टेंट टेक अ नोट हु वॉज अवॉर्डेड विद दिस ग्लोबल इनक्रेडिबल आई एन सी लीडरशिप अवार्ड ही वॉज एन इंडियन मिनिस्टर जी किशन रेड्डी ही इज अर यूनियन मिनिस्टर फॉर टूरिज्म कल्चर एंड डेवलपमेंट ऑफ द नॉर्थ ईस्टर्न रीजन एंड रिमेंबर जी किशन रेड्डी ही वॉज अवॉर्डेड विद दिस अवार्ड फॉर द रीजन दैट ही प्रमोट्स टूरिज्म एंड इंडियाज रिच कल्चर फॉर द सेम ही वॉज अवॉर्डेड फॉर दिस अवार्ड नेक्स्ट as you can see he is g kishan reddy next who has been awarded with the 15th edition of the international eni award so very famous and important award remember recently iit madras professor thallapalli pradeep has been awarded with the prestigious international eni award this was the 15th edition of this eni award correct and it was awarded to IIT Madras professor Thalapil Pradeep correct he was awarded with the advanced environmental solutions award right which is a dedicated to research for the protection and sustainable of natural resources the award was is said to be presented to him by the president of italy in near future so coming back this eni that is an integrated energy company right and they have announced the name of the winning researchers and scientists of 15th edition of the eni award and professor thalapil pradeep that is from iit madras has been awarded with the advanced environmental solution award for his research and production towards and sustainable use of natural resources this award will be presented to him by the president of italy correct he was awarded with the advanced environmental solutions award correct and if we talk about this pradeep has joined the professor pradeep has joined the rank of distinguished previous awardees that includes nobel laureates also he has also received the recognition such as padma shri in 2020 prince sultan bin Abdul Ziaz International Prize in 2020, Nikki Asia Prize in 2020, Shanti Swarup Bhatnagar Prize in 2008. Right? These are some of the achievements of Professor Thalapil Pradeep, who is a professor at IIT Madras. Right? Then remember, if we talk about this ENI awards, this is the organization that is presenting these awards. It was established in 1953. the headquarter of which is in italy and that is the reason the president of italy will be awarding this award to him shortly right then these eni awards are divided basically into three categories these are your energy transition energy frontiers and third is your advanced environmental solution that what are the different solution that can be provided in order to save our natural resources right so you can see he is an iit that is iit madras professor Th professor thallipil pradeep and he has been won the or he has won the prestigious international eni award that is the 15th eni award and this is the advanced environmental solution award of this eni organization right next french government has presented the chevalier award to indian musicians name them Aruna Sairam and Shashank Subramanyam these are the two indian musicians who were awarded with this chevalier award and this is to for their contribution in connecting france and india through music right so aruna sairam and shashank subramanyam they were awarded with this chevalier award that is order of arts and letters we can also say orders of arts and letters right this award was awarded to aruna sairam she is a padma shri right 
and shashank subramanyam who is a flautist for the and uh, uh, shashank subramanyam right they both are musician and they were awarded with this order of arts and letters that is chevalier award and it was presented to them by the french government and they were awarded with this award in chennai tamil nadu right if we talk about this order of arts and letters this was established in 1957 correct and it is the most significant art specific honor that is given by the government of france right then if we talk about aruna sairam she was born in 1960 she is from mumbai maharashtra right and she is regarded as the music ambassador of india then she was awarded with padma shri for arts in 2009 correct and she has also been selected as the vice chairperson of the sangeet natak academy correct then if we talk about shashank subramanyam he was born in 1978 he is from karnataka and he was awarded with the sangeet natak academy senior award by the government of india in 2017 and he also received the kalai mamani award for the from the tamil nadu government in 2001 correct so these are some information related to both the musicians and the award that is chevalier award that is the order of the arts and letters this award was presented to aruna sairam and shashank subramanyam both are musicians from india moving on as you can see them here right next is related to science and technology recently our home minister amit shah has launched crcs sahara refund portal to expedite the funds for the sahara group depositors if you remember about the sahara group right this was also a builder and they promised a city of dreams right and multiple hundreds and thousands of people invested in this sahara group and it was considered to be one of the biggest project if india during that time right and but sadly the people who invested in this sahara group or the sahara project has lost their money and they have been waiting for many years for their money to be provided or to for their money to be coming back to them right so in order for the same recently a step was taken by the government that a refund portal a refund portal has been started where the people who invested their money in these in this project will now be provided back their money correct so for the same the name of the project that was launched is crcs sahara refund portal and it is to expedite the refunds for the sahara group depositors correct and this is aiming at aiding over 10 crore depositors of the sahara group in reclaiming their money within 45 days the refund portal has been developed by a subsidiary of Inter, uh, industrial finance corporation of india limited that is ifci limited right a systematically important non deposit taking nbfc right also in the phase 1 around 1.7 crore investors will be beneficiaries here and the claims of up to just 10000 rupees will be prioritized for settlement first and then the big amounts will be prioritized the refunds will be credited to the aadhar linked bank accounts of the investors and within 45 days they will be getting their money into their bank account correct and this was launched by government of india and uh, name of the person is fast amit shah our home minister and crcs sahara refund portal is the name of the portal that will be refunding or providing money back to the investors next next is related to sports recently commonwealth senior junior and youth weightlifting championship 2023 was held and india has won 20 medals in the senior category right india won 20 medals in the senior weight lifting championship for 2023 correct out of this 20 medals nine are gold then nine are silver and two are bronze 
and remember they won this at the commonwealth senior junior junior and youth championship 2023 that was held in gautam buddha university that is in greater noida up the indian team overall won 61 medals right and that is 38 gold 21 silver and 2 bronze and this is total for the all the three championship that is both for, for all the three that is senior junior and youth and here if we talk about the 20 medals this is for the senior category right then next thing remember this event witnessed a total of 250 weightlifters from almost 20 countries participating across all the three junior youth and senior category this was held from 12th to 16th of july in gautam buddha university that is in greater noida up right important take a note of it next former kerala chief minister omen chandi ji has recently passed away as you can see him in the picture right he is the former chief minister of kerala and a veteran of indian national congress correct he passed away at the age of 79 in bangalore karnataka he was born in october in 1943 in kerala right he served as the chief minister twice that is from 2004 to 2006 and again from 2011 to 2016 right so we can say for a total of 7 years he served as the chief minister of kerala and he has recently passed away next next is related to a books and authors former cec that is former chief election commissioner of india tn sheshan has authored his autobiography that is through the broken glass i repeat through the broken glass an autobiography authored by tn sheshan the former chief election commissioner of india who made a significant difference to the indian elections this book was published by rupa publications india and autobiography covers his term as the chief election commissioner from 1990 to 1995 with a page count of 368 pages for this book it has been published 4 years after he passed away in 2000 19 so former chief election commissioner of india late tn sheshan has authored his autobiography and it will be published now after 5 4 years of his death and this book will be published by rupa publications next next is an important date do take a note of it nelson mandela international day when do we observe this it is observed on 18th of july This marks the birth anniversary of National Nelson Mandela who played an eminent role in creating non racial constitution for South Africa right and also to end the apartheid system of South Africa correct this day is also known as Mandela Day and it marks the 105th anniversary of in 2023 of this Nelson Mandela International Day correct and this day is observed every year on 18th of july correct so, uh, or we can say this marks the 105th anniversary of those, this not not this of international mandela day but 105th anniversary of or we can say 105th birth anniversary of nelson mandela as we see this day was first observed in 2010 right so we can say this is the 14th edition of this nelson mandela international day or nelson mandela day next next is your we can say world snake day when do we observe this on 16th of july it is to create awareness of the snakes in the world and to recognize the importance of snakes and snakes disbeliefs in our ecosystem right world snake day was celebrated at national zoological day in new delhi and on the occasion of the world snake day an enrichment activity was conducted by snake keeping staff for providing cage furniture in the reptile house plantation was also conducted inside the snake house right next we are moving to state news himachal pradesh chief minister Su sukhvinder singh sukhu has launched aapda rahat kosh 2023 website this is a digital platform that is aimed at helping the disaster affected people in the state of himachal pradesh as we see because of the flood because of the heavy rainfall we are seeing that many rivers there are flooding and that is causing heavy destruction 
in the infrastructure various houses various hotels even the shops of multiple people living in those areas are affected and they have been destroyed correct in order to provide them relief this abda rahat website that is a digital platform initiative was launched by himachal pradesh chief minister correct by the using this website people can donate money right donation can be done through this website this through this portal for the people who are affected with this debit cards credit cards right various net banking qr code upi facility are provided on this website so that people can donate from all around the world correct so these are your important current affairs for the day friends now let's move to some revision part niti ayog they launched the second edition of the national mpi that is multi dimensional poverty index and it stated that india's poor declined to 14.96 between 2019 to 2021 IEA in collaboration with PPAC launched oil 2023 medium term market report that suggested that an increase of 6% in demand from 2022 to 2028 then prime minister narendra modi's visit to uae was discussed as the main important thing you can remember here that rupee will be or the transaction trade transactions between india and uae will be now settled in rupee instead of dollar then world humanitarian drive got special status from the un for global education uk they signed a treaty to join trans pacific trading bloc ashok leland won the orders worth 800 crore rupees from indian army to deliver defense vehicles union minister g kishan reddy was conferred with the global incredible inc leadership award in order to promote tourism and to promote india's rich culture then 15th edition of international eni award honors the iit madras professor in order to sustainable use of the natural resources then french government presented chevalier award to indian musician aruna sairam and shashank subramanyam mark this next amit shah launched crcs sahara refund portal to expedite the refunds for the sahara group depositors and 10000 rupees will be the limit or we can say the first the uh, insurers whose deposit was 10000 rupees will be credited first within 45 days right then commonwealth senior junior and youth weightlifting championship was held it was held in gautam buddha university in greater noida and india has won 20 medals in the senior category here former kerala chief minister omen chandi ji has recently passed away former cec of india tn sheshan authored his autobiography after his death it was released and the name is through the broken glass nelson mandela international day it is observed on 18th of july world snake day is observed on 16th of july and himachal pradesh chief minister sukhvinder singh sukhu launched a website that is aapda rahat kosh 2023 and this will be a and this will also be a donation portal on this where people can donate to the people affected by the heavy floods and rainfall in the state of himachal pradesh so these were your important current affairs for the day friends now let's shift to the important revision part first is day of international criminal justice is observed on 17th of july right next 136th edition of the wimbledon championship was held and here Carlos Alcaraz he is from Spain has won the men single title by defeating Novak Djokovic in the finals. Next is Asian Athletics Championship it was held in Bangkok Thailand and India has finished third with 27 medals here. Next EIB that is European Investment Bank they have committed 1 billion euro loan to support the India's national green hydrogen mission and where will be the first hydrogen power train running from it will be from jeend district that is in haryana correct next adani group they will be uh, they have commissioned the india's first transnational project transnational power project to bangladesh that means 100% of the electricity or power generated from this project will be delivered to the bangladesh and where this is located it is in goda jharkhand next prime minister narendra modi visited france and they have adopted horizon 2047 till that the india and france will be collaborating on various multiple projects and india's target to become a developed nation for 2047 will be achieved not just this apart from this remember 
uh, India and France they signed a deal where they will be uh, in France in Paris France UPI use will be starting and even at the Eiffel Tower you will be able to pay through rupee right and it is a big achievement for India so these were your revision part friends now let's move to the homework section first which state approved the proposal to start teacher interface for excellence program second india recently launched the trade transactions in rupees with which country third what is the net direct tax collection till july in the financial year so these are the three homework questions friend i hope the session was important and i the session was beneficial for you all and one more thing all the students have to comment the answers of these homework questions because they are important and i want to develop a habit in my students who are watching my video on daily basis that they should comment the homework questions right because it is a good habit and this will give you an insight that how to find the answers of multiple questions how to google how to research about it and these questions that i'm providing you are also important questions that will be helping you in your preparation so that's all for the day friends thank you and have a nice day that's all for the day friends i hope you enjoyed the session and you can follow us on the youtube channel as well as apart from youtube channel you can go and follow us at affairs cloud telegram channel and if you have any queries related to the content or the of courses offered to you or the payment which you did on the application you can contact us on the number provided that is 7677333862 apart from this friends you can follow us on the facebook as well as on instagram handle that is affairs cloud underscore official in the end friends if you use a code that is vikas10 you will be getting an additional extra 10 percent discount by using this code vikas10 also if you have any problem regarding the course purchase any problem regarding to our application you can contact us on the mobile number that is 9677333862 and if you want to mail us you can also mail us on support at the rate of affairscloud.com and i assure you that our representative from us will be contacting you soon and resolving your issue.